Okay, Tom, nice to meet you. I'm nice Frank Matano. It's a great pleasure. I want to start off by saying that I uh, compliment you because you sh I'm, I was born in 1989. You're born in 1996. Yes. Usually great, uh, like famous and really good American actors, the, the old American actors, I can never put my finger on their talent because they're older and maybe they're just like born really, really good actors. <laughs> right. With you that we grow up in the same world, in the same culture, in the same environment, we can say, I can really like grasp your talent and I really oh, appreciate you. that you represent our generation as a as a young actor. And thank you. I that, appreciate that. It's oh, very sweet of you to say. You're welcome, you're welcome. So let I, I saw the movie. It's awesome movie. I'm a gamer, I play a lot. Okay, fantastic. Do you play video games? I do play video games, okay. yes. Okay, and like usually with movies, sometimes they bring you a book and you say, read the book because it's from the book. Sure. And this time it's from a video game. Did you have to like play all over all the games? Like did you play some Uncharted to, to, to study the role and see how Nathan Drake moves? Yeah, I mean, I, I was a huge fan of the games uh, beforehand, so mm -hmm. like, I, I didn't have to play the games again in order to say yes to the movie. I knew what I was getting myself in of for. I, I knew the kind of experience and adventure this was going to be. But you're right. As soon as we started prepping the movie, uh, it was very important to us that everyone involved in the creative aspect of the film uh, had a good understanding of what these games sort of stand of for. Uh, so, you know, we all were playing PlayStation <laughs> all day, every day, getting back into the character. You know, for me as a young actor... When a director says, you need to read this book to research a character, yeah. I'm like, ugh, it's so boring. <laughs> but now that someone has given me the opportunity to play a video game all day, of course, it's uh, that's good. a lot that's of fun. And by the way, I think the movie, I saw a lot of movies like that, I don't know how to say it in English, but that brought from uh, a video game. And I think this movie is really, really, like, it respects very much the video game world. Mm -hmm. Some of the scenes when you, like go up or do some action stuff. It really looked like playing the movie, and I think right. that's really cool to see a movie like that. And I saw that you for your character, you're really like slick in a lot of things. Like sure. you do like a pen spin right. while you're right. Did you have to learn that, or did you say, I know how to do this, and I think the character would do this? The little pen spin thing is something I've known how to do since I was at school. Uh -huh. uh, but for me, like, you know, the flipping of the bottles and catching and yeah, pouring drinks exactly. and, you know, the way in which he fights, he's a very handy person. He's someone who's very capable but untrained. So for us, you know, we wanted to create a character that could do things uh, that, you know, that anyone could potentially do. Of course. Uh, but he just does it in a very stylish way. Yeah, so that's, no, oh, that's really cool. I didn't think of that. Like, you have to be slick. But you like you don't have to be like uh, look prepared. Exactly, we didn't yeah. want him to be fighting with a perfect of, fighting of course. start. Oh, like, we so cool. we wanted him to be a little bit looser while also being very calculated. So it was a fine line we had to walk. But you know we work with a fantastic stunt team, and my two doubles are incredible at uh, you know designing action and fight scenes. So it was a lot of fun, sort of coming up with his style. Uh huh. And since you you're like you're young, but you already have all these this experience in adventure and action movies. Like, do you find yourself watching old action movies in with a different eye? Like, appreciating more maybe, I don't know, if you watch uh, a great uh, action movie star from the past, do you see, oh, I, I always gave for granted how good hmm. he was. Do, do you find yourself studying the scenes differently when you see an action, old adventure or action movie? Absolutely, and I think one of the things I study most are the stunts, you know, mm -hmm. if you look back at some of the old indie movies, yeah. you know, before the world of CGI where everything is kind of practical, of course. you know, you have that incredible shot where, I can't remember how, but that, or when the, they're falling out of the airplane in that boat, uh -huh. and there's clearly someone who's just in that boat jumped out of an airplane with a parachute. Uh -huh. You know, for me, the old school way of stunts is so impressive. And yeah. for us as creatives on this film, it was very important to us to to try and recreate some of that magic from the I sort think of you, back, back you in the day. You were know? successful, yeah. Thank you. You know, a lot, a lot of these stunts that we do in this film are for real. They are practical on practical sets or practical locations. So mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun. You know, some of the old school indie movies, uh, like the do, stunts are Do you remember like one in particular that, like for an me, actor that you enjoy his work of, uh, like I think Jackie Chan is like one of the 
greatest ones. There's a fight scene in this movie that we took a lot of influence from Jackie Chan. Oh, really? He is someone who is so good at using his surroundings to better himself in a fight. So that scene behind the bar where Nate is sort of, he uses a bottle at one point and then he uses a sort of plunger and then, you know, he uses the vodka to breathe fire. So Uh for me, that is something that is very sort of Jackie Chan-esque. During the, I think it's really interesting that you read the screen, the screenplay and the surroundings become everything because of a prop yes. right? in an action scene. That's so great. That's yeah. awesome. I, I didn't think of that. It was a lot of fun. And um, do, you, do you, since your big success, uh, you, you live in, uh, where do you live? In England, right? I live in London, yeah. Yeah, in London. Do you, do you like uh, get back to your old friends? And how, how's that relationship going with your old friends? Because the question I wanted to ask is, always returning to back to um, how the times have, have changed. Before, I think, the magic of an actor, uh, a big uh, worldwide known actor, was that you couldn't, like, it wasn't palpable how he was in private. Mm-hmm. Now with social networks, you really have to put yourself out there. And how do you manage to do that? Because I think the magic of an actor is lowering less things as possible of the person. How do you do social networks and protect the magic of your characters uh, in movies. I don't know if you understood the question. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Make... It's a great question, you know. Yeah. I'm very selective and calculated when it comes to what I post and when I post, uh-huh. you know. I think my fans uh, really understand and have been very, very respectful, especially in the last few months, uh-huh. uh, that my private life is my private life and I like to keep certain aspects of it to myself, you know. Uh-huh. We already share so much of our of lives uh, out with the world, so it's important to us that, you know, we keep certain aspects to ourselves, uh, but it's just a fine line. It's just something you have to slowly figure out. Uh-huh. You know, as a younger kid, I was probably a little bit, uh, I probably shared a little bit too much. Oh, and really? Now, now, as an older person, I'm slowly sort of starting to figure out that I'd like to share a little bit less, um, just because, you know, my private life means a lot to me. Of course, I, I started with, in Italy, I, I'm an actor, a comedic actor in Italy, and I started with social networks, I like right. got known that. So I really try to suggest to every young kid to not post, like posting something at 16, it could cannot be a, a good idea in the future. Yeah, it's there maybe, forever. Oh my, so did you do, do some stuff that you regret posting on, on the internet? Like not crazy stuff, but whatever. Uh, I mean, I don't really regret anything, yeah. you know, uh, but I've, I've posted things I look back on and I'm like, that was a strange thing to post, but you know, it's not Yeah, but it was I, spontaneous. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I was a kid, so I was just enjoying myself. Um, But, uh, but it's something I'm very conscious of. And, you know, as I said before, like, I take my private life very seriously. Well, that's good. That's good. And I really have a lot of respect for your time, really, really. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Because of the interview. Um, and I read that you're, since I'm a comic, I read that your father uh, is, um, he was a, um, um, a comedy. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a stand-up he's, comedian. How did, and... did that help with your uh, acting career? Maybe in Uncharted, you're really funny. Oh, and it's thank really you. hard to be... Like, funny and do the scenes right. You're such a, a professional in doing that. How do, how do you mix the comedy with the action? And did your father help you with that? I mean, my dad has been incredibly instrumental in, you know, the success of my career. Whether it can be helping me write a speech for something I have oh, to do on so stage. Nice. Or, you know, in my early career when I would do interviews, my dad would help me with the answers. Because yes. I didn't really know what to say. So nice. You know, I, I, whenever I have a film that I think requires a little bit of humor... I will send him the script That's and say, like, Dad, will you just brush up some of these lines yeah. for me? And he always comes back pretty promptly with, you know, ideas here and there. And, you know, some of his jokes I don't get. Some of them, <laughs> you know, so jump cool. off the page and they're, they're perfect. Um, there's a few jokes here and there throughout Uncharted that are I have to credit to my dad. Um, he's been a huge uh, influence for me and a great role model. He's, um, he's a wonderful, wonderful man, awesome. my dad. Uh, so I owe a lot of my sort of success and my persona that's publicly so nice. uh, to, to my dad. That's what that's so nice. My father is a cop in Italy, Carabiniere, so he never helps me with my stuff. But whatever, he gives me protection. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, I wanted to um, ask you, the movie is about a big adventure. Yes. But the treasure of the movie, I think, is with, in friendship and mm-hmm. love and passion. Um, how did uh, the... Um, You and Mark Wahlberg are really, really funny together. <laughs> Thank How you. How did your relationship on set, like, uh, did, you, did you talk about the scenes? Did, did Mark, uh, uh, like, uh, 
help you with the scene or maybe doing it better to for the relationship that it, you have? Yeah, no, I mean, we, we just got along really well, if I'm honest. Uh -huh. uh, it was something that came very naturally to us. The chemistry between Nate and Sully is really the heart and soul of the film. Yeah, so exactly. it's very important to us as actors to get that right. You know, a lot of the banter that you see in the film between the two of us sort of taking the piss out of each other is very real. Like, that is kind of just who we are. We were always sort of going at each other, which was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. um, so it wasn't something we had to particularly work very hard towards. It came very naturally, which is always always a pleasure. That's good, that's good. So, um, in Mark Wahlberg in the movie teaches you, like, uh, a way to cheer in Spanish. Uh -huh. Yes, I saw that, uh, yeah. And I wanted to gift you a way to cheer uh, in uh, uh, an Italian Fantastic. way. From southern Italy. Okay. So let's say we have uh, glasses. Okay, so it's Aisa Isa Isa. Aisa Isa Isa. Agala gala gala. Agala gala gala. A costa costa costa. A costa costa costa. Bevem masa ludegin un dost. Wow, I don't know that last bit. Bevem masa. Let's drink. Bevem masa ludegin un dost. Oh, bad. It's just the ending. Yeah, yeah, and drink. Cheers. Grazie. And I wanted to close with, uh, I have a joke for you. That okay. That I wrote years ago, and just to end the interview or whatever. Tell me. So, do you know how many seconds it takes to count from one to ten? I'm going to tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Around 12 seconds. <laughs> Did you like that joke? Okay, thank you so much, Sam. You're awesome. Thanks, Lacey. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.